Kobe's 13 year old daughter, Gianna, also, as you know, died in this crash along with a basketball coach and a family with ties back here in North Texas. They were all on their way to a youth basketball game on Sunday morning. Andrea Lucia continues our coverage. She's live tonight at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, where Kobe Bryant played plenty of games, obviously, during that long career in the NBA. Andrea? Yeah, and the tributes to him are everywhere here at the AAC. The screens uh, have been off and on showing his picture. But for that Denton Hanley family that we spoke to, they lost more than just a sports hero. They lost some of their own. It doesn't seem real. Jim Altabelli was hit first now. by news of Kobe Bryant's death. Then, minutes later, the call about his brothers. John, his wife, and his daughter were the other victims. He had the perfect life, perfect wife, perfect family, lived in Southern California. It's just mind-boggling how quick that went away. Head baseball coach at Orange Coast College, John Altabelli, came to be friends with the basketball legend through their daughters, who played basketball together. He kind of kept that close to his vest. There was one time, Jim says, his brother called in a favor. He was in the dugout talking to the kids and, you know, giving them a pep talk. And he had Kobe come from around the dugout to the front and stand behind him. And that's how the kids all got to know that my brother and Kobe were friends. But above all... I want people to know he was a fantastic father. His brother believes he died proving it. Oh, they were just doing what dads do. They were going to their kids' basketball game. I'd never done it in a helicopter, and that was probably the big difference. Now watching John's death make national headlines, Jim can't help but feel and hope it's just a dream. Well, it's just kind of a, kind of like I'm going to wake up tomorrow and this whole thing's over. Well, John Altabelli leaves behind a son who is set to be married later this year and a teenage daughter. His youngest daughter uh, and his wife were among the nine who were killed in the crash. And his brother says he's still waiting for confirmation that their bodies have been recovered. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.